So in this problem, we're told a car accelerates from 12 meters per second to 21 meters per second in six seconds. What was, its, uh, what was its acceleration? How far did it travel in this time? And so we're assuming constant acceleration. And so that's just a keyword to tell you we're using kinematic equations. So the way I like to attempt or solve these is by writing down everything we're given first. So given, and so what are we given? So we're told we go from 12 meters per second to 21 meters per second. So we start at 12 meters per second. So our initial velocity, which we represent by V sub zero, is equal to 12 meters per second. 12 meters per second. And then we go all the way to 21 meters per second. So we finish with 21 meters per second, which basically means that our final velocity is 21 meters per second. And so now that we've got that, uh, let's see what else we're given. So we do this in six seconds. So our time, which we represent by t, is going to be six seconds. So we've got that. And then it's asking us for its acceleration and how far it traveled in this time. So we're trying to find a and uh, how far it traveled, which we represent that by the change in x or the change in position. So these are the two things we're finding. So let's go ahead and start with a. And so we're going to use the kinematic equations. So if we look which one's best to use a, uh, or we're solving for a, right? So this one doesn't contain a, so we're not going to use that one. Uh, if we look, we're given v sub 0, v, and t. And so if we look at these equations to see which ones contain those, we see the first one has v, it has v sub 0, and it has t. So if we have all the variables in it, we can just solve for a. So let's use this equation to solve for it. So v equals v sub 0 plus a times t. So v is 21 meters per second equals v sub 0, our initial velocity, 12, plus uh, a, which we don't know, times 6. So plus 6a. Now let's solve for a. So minus 12 from both sides. We get 9 equals 6a. And then we can divide both sides by 6. 9 divided by 6 is the same thing as 1.5. So a equals 1.5. And we know acceleration is meters per second squared. So meters per second squared. So that's going to be our acceleration during this time. But we also have to find how far it traveled. So we're trying to find delta x. So this is going to be 1.5 meters per second squared. So if we look at these equations and we're trying to find delta x, we see this one doesn't contain delta x, so it's not going to be the first one. And uh, we could use multiple equations for this one, but I think the easiest would just be use this one. Because we're given v, uh, we're given v sub 0, and we're given time. So let's so go ahead and solve using that equation. So delta x equals v plus v sub 0 over 2 times t. So delta x equals v, which is 21, plus v sub 0, which is 12, over 2 times t, which is 6. So 21 plus 12 is the same thing as 33. And then we're dividing by 2, and we're multiplying by 6. So if we divide 33 divided by 2, it's going to be 16.5. And then we multiply by 6. So 16.5 times 6 is going to give you 99. So delta x is going to be equal to 99. And then keep in mind, all this is in meters. So, and we write uh, delta x just as meters, so it's going to be 99 meters. So that's going to be delta x, and so that's going to be how you solve this problem.